Hey everyone, if you want to connect your WhatsApp with OpenAI and you want to create a chatbot that can answer all the user's query, then you are at the right video. In this video, you will learn how you can connect your Twilio WhatsApp number to OpenAI and you can create a bot that can answer all the user query in most uh, accurate manner so let's get started i have created a github repository here in the readme section you will find things that you need before you get started first you will need open ai api key so when you go to open ai and create your account on the top right corner of your account section you will see view api keys you can create new api key and copy that and make sure you don't share it with anyone who you don't trust because this is very uh, sensitive information second you will need a twilio account and a twilio project so when you go to twilio and you will see this kind of interface where you need to create a new account. So I have already created an account with Twilio. I'll go to a project on which I want to work. Here you will find account SID and oath token. Again, you don't share this information with anybody cause it's sensitive information and don't worry about this account SID. I'll be removing this project after this video. Here you go to explore products and then messaging section. Here click on try it out. Send a WhatsApp message. Here you will see a number save this number on your whatsapp account you will be prompted by a code that you need to send before you start communicating with twilio whatsapp since it is a sandbox you need to follow this procedure otherwise if you have approved twilio whatsapp number then anyone can communicate on that so i'll head over to my whatsapp i have saved the number on my whatsapp i need to send first the code to activate communication you can see the communication is activated once you do that and once you have the account sid and auth token we can move forward to the next step you can have an API testing application in Somania or Postman in order to check the local working and NGROC to expose our local environment with internet. Now, once you have all the things ready, you can either clone this repository or copy the code as a zip file. I have already downloaded the code and open the folder in visual studio code so you will see this kind of thing except this dot env file if you come to this readme again you will need to create a dot env file with these three variable twilio account sid twilio auth token and open ai api key make sure you use these keywords so that you don't break the code so i have created my env file the first thing you need to do is you need to create a python virtual environment i will use venv module to create a virtual environment and i'll name it venv but before let me deactivate wait my existing virtual environment you can see i was inside venv let me clear the screen so python 
hyphen m v e n v and my virtual environment name is v e n v and i'll hit enter you can see it has created a virtual environment the next step is to activate the virtual environment and in my case it is source v e n v bin and activate if you are on windows then it will be like scripts uh, it will be like v e n v script and activate so i will activate the virtual account the next step is to install the required packages so i'll use pip install hyphen r for requirement file and i'll provide the requirements.txt file and i'll hit enter so this will install all the required packages inside this virtual environment this small warning says that uh, you can upgrade your pip version and i'll do that but it is not necessary to follow the step let me clear the screen now let me walk you through the code section so our entry point is run.py our main app is inside src app.py here it is a simple flask application we have two route one is home route just to make sure that everything is working then this twilio receive message route here twilio will send its request whenever someone sends message on twilio whatsapp number we will extract some parameter make request to open ai and then send the result back to the request of the twilio here inside helper function i have two file one open ai here i have one function text completion this will call open ai and uh, this will generate response for user's query twilio api here i have one method send message this method will take a number and message and it will send it to the uh, number using uh, twilio client so this is it uh, from the code side now let's start the application i'll start the application with python run.py in case you are on a server and you want to uh, start the script you can start it with gunicon run and app this will start the uh, processes on server and in case of a daemon mode you can start it in a daemon mode as well let me clear the screen for demonstration purpose i will use python run.py you can see our local server is started let me click on it and we can see all is well message now i will open a new terminal i will start ngrock engine on port 5000 cause i have started my local server python server on port 5000 make sure you use the same port so i'll start the engine now when i click on it this will show all is well message so i'll copy this and now i'll go to twilio here in the setting section you will see whatsapp sandbox setting go there here in the sandbox configuration you will see when a message comes in here we will paste our url followed by twilio followed by receive message so this is our route and you can make sure that you don't have any typo let me copy this and 
okay let's make sure it doesn't have anything uh, misspelled and let me save this now when I come here and I say hi this message will first come here on Twilio then Twilio will send it to this Python Flask application through ngrock we process it we generate a response here and then send the message back to the user and you can see here that we have got a response when I say what is SOS we find a response from uh, open AI let's say write me a tagline for my bike shop again this will go to Twilio Twilio will forward that request to this URL which comes to here on ngrock and ngrock will pass it to our local host so I hope you now clearly understand how this works i'm sure you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so and if you download the code from my github repository please consider giving a star here it helps if you like my work on my youtube channel please consider subscribing to it it helps thank you for watching peace